man, because it's been going around the community and I kind of just want to like get a clear answer on the table. How does Devin become the GOAT of arm wrestling? Is it possible? Because when you talk to all the old heads and everything, everybody's like, no, John Berzang, there's nothing anybody can do. It's always going to be John. But I mean, it's been so long that Devin's been doing the same thing. And if he does this for another 10 years, you know, say he's at, what's he at, 49 right now? Uh, yeah. John, Linger, John Brzezink killing it at 59. If Devin does this for another decade, is he now the new GOAT? Well, what what makes the GOAT? That's the thing. Is it is it achievements or is it duration? Well, I mean, like, I think it's got to be question. kind of both. You kind of got to, yeah. like, put them both together and figure out, like, you know, because we've evolved in arm wrestling. Back then, when John oh. was – was the goat he was the tournament guy it was always whoever won all the tournaments was the man today mm -hmm. it's the super matches so it, it you really can't go apples for apples so with that with the evolution and all do you really see anybody able to come at 20 years old and dominate like john brzing did today i mean would they be able to beat a guy like levon would they be able to beat a devin at 20 like a bacho i don't see it even possible well, it no. seems like the level is so much higher nowadays. There's inflation yeah. on the skill level yeah. with new people and new yeah. techniques online. That everybody just like people are just monsters a year into the sport, which I don't think was the case maybe 20, 30 years ago. But is it? Is it though, man? Because you, you've got to remember, we had the freaks back then, bro. We had Cleve Deans. We had um, uh, uh, Lupkis, Rich Lupkis. But they weren't, they weren't nowhere near as strong as the, the arm wrestlers today, even though they were yeah, both, and they so weren't as technical either. Yeah, yeah. Not even close. Technique. They were not even, arm wrestlers yeah. are doing more more weight on all lifts all across and the board. So I think yeah. If John Brzezink in his prime were to hop in today's super heavyweight class, I don't even think he'd be top five. Yeah, I mean, there's Levon, I'm, there's freaking Ravaz, there's yeah, Vitaly, Hermes. Yo, you go give Cleve Dean a cycle of steroids, bro, and you're telling me that dude ain't going to be stronger than everybody else. I mean, the dude had 200 pounds over LeVon, bro. <laughs> but how was yeah, he training, though? How was he training? You know, what was he doing to get pigs, better? Carrying yeah, pigs around them. Farming, yeah. Farming, bro. Farming. Yeah, I mean, country strong, no doubt. Super strong guy. But I don't think his focus and his, you know, focus on uh, technique was anywhere near what, like, LeVon's is now. You know, maybe if he would apply that, too, you never know. But straight yeah, I, I agree. I agree. The technique and the training has evolved and stepped up. That is, that is definitely true. But I mean, I, I just I don't know, man. We we had those same freaks, and John Brzezink at two hundred pounds was beating Cleve Dean at six hundred pounds. I mean, so you know what what um, what Gabrielle just said. I don't know, man. John in his peak might be you know top five today. You know that is yeah. hard to judge, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, well, when do you think John's peak was? What is the money that he was the best? Probably that, like... That's the hardest question to answer, right? Because I think he's peaked throughout his career. <clears throat> I've seen videos of him going to tournaments and just pulling through everybody. Tom Nelson, Ron Bath, you name it, he just pulled right he, through. And can I we think, say 18 I think to 25? I don't know, but I do know I that when he older. defeated Saplenka. Really? He looked strong. Older than 45. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I thought I thought he said twenty five. No, not all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I was thinking like thirty five. What do you think? Uh, we got we got Pradeep entering the room. Yeah. Just want to give an introduction. Pradeep, what's up, man? How's it going? Thanks, Thanks for having me. How's it going, Pradeep? Thank you. Pradeep, so, we, so, we, this is perfect timing, bro, because you just brought up this video as well, and we're talking about um, being the goat of arm wrestling. Like Devin, will he able to get that title? What's your thoughts on that, bro? Just do it. Just gonna be connect my mic. So I was thinking that initially I always used to say that the level has evolved a lot and you guys were just discussing that. But if we take a look at it, Jerry is still ranked like fourth or fifth something. And it's kind of difficult to just assume that he's way stronger than what he was like maybe 10 years ago. So Jerry is still around there, all of the arm wrestlers. So I think it's mostly about Levan Saganashvili who has kind of extended the level of super heavy. And I don't even think that there's that big of a difference in other weight classes. But still, I also do agree that John may not be somewhere around the top five range. And if he was in his prime today and the video that you were talking about, Paul, I basically said a few things. If Devon is somehow able to beat Levan, it doesn't need to be a dominant win. If he can somehow win it 
while holding two other titles like 115 and maybe also 105, then I think we have to consider him as the GOAT because it's almost the same as John being 95, 105 and and super heavyweight champion. So if Devon also does that in three weight categories and he's also like 48, we always talk about John being dominant when he was 22. So you need to be a champion at 21. Otherwise, you cannot be the GOAT. So why are we not saying that Devon can be number one at 48 and John was never number one at 48? So, so why being number one at a young age matters, but not at an old age? I think it's kind of a yeah, similar exactly. achievement. Pradeep, would you agree that if yeah. Devon goes and beats Unger Baiva 105 and then he beats uh, Georgie Tsvetkov and he beats a couple more and then if he beats Levon... Does that immediately give him the gold status or? Yeah, maybe like the thing that, that I said in my video, maybe if he defends all of those titles once, then I think it should give him that status. Are they going to put him against Hutchings? Because obviously Anger Bai have lost. So, I mean, and I think Angan said he doesn't want to put up West versus West. Yeah, I don't think I don't... that match is happening anytime soon. Yeah. I, I, th I think if Levon is even in contention, he's not cutting down to 105. He's not going to. And yeah, before I, I, that LeBron match happens, I don't think he's going to try to get any lighter. Yeah, that's the match I want to see really bad. Yeah. Rematch. Yeah,